may have a bit of that here today. Would not be surprised to see this one go 3-1 in Trap's favor. At least that's the way it's looking right now. Can't really call it just yet, but Trap definitely on the forward foot here. We're going into Deadwing, guys. We're going to have to wait and see what the spawns are before we call anything on this map just yet. But it is set number two, Dark versus Trap. Let's jump into that game right now. up here in the top right in the blue the Zerg player who is down 0-1 he is dark down here to the bottom left it is Joe Song Ho ooh or trap <laughs> you fancy huh I read his name <laughs> cross map I definitely give the favor to trap in these kind of positions he does have a lot more time to secure this third base and maybe even go for the Blink Stalker Sentry again. Gives him an avenue to like, you know, kind of run up behind that third base in the high ground, blink some stalkers up there, do a lot of harassment, make things very hard for, for Doc if he wants to do that same kind of style, which I'd be very surprised if he did anything else. This really is the meta in today's, uh, today's game. Mm. Looks like we're going to see a Nexus first. And Dark deciding that he wants to go hatch first. Doesn't want to do anything aggressive. I was thinking maybe possibly we see some kind of, you know, unexpected aggression come out of Dark. Some kind of 14-14. But um, not deciding to go for it. Just playing it a bit safer. Yeah. Dark definitely isn't kind of the the super aggressive Zerg either. I mean, today, like, really we haven't seen too much super aggressive Zerg play. All, the, all three of these players are very sort of macro oriented before anything else. Yeah. There really is only one life, and there is Shine as well, but Shine's kind of like this. He, he just really gives it away that he's going <laughs> to nine pull every game. And there's uh, Leenok as well. Leenok is pretty aggressive, yeah. yeah. He wasn't too aggressive, not as aggressive as I thought he'd be, but he still looked for it when he could. Maybe they, I think one of those games was like he went yeah. for that really early Link Bane. Totally shut down. Um, he was playing Flash, right? Yeah. I think on Sejong. Flash just went like very typical 3cc with like a reactor. Yeah, and had, like, like two Marines and then he so just got greedy. rolled. Very, that was the opening game. And yeah, it was a great sort of way to open things up. Just completely hard counter. He's very greedy build. Speaking of greedy builds, it's going to be uh, two hash before pull. Start things up. Yeah. Trap is going to get that scout, at least, so he knows what he's going up against. Going to get a scout down into the main base as well. Wants to see, does he go for the gas as well? No gas. No. Not going to be doing this sort of lifestyle, get that early link speed as well. Can be pretty common with this kind of build, but... Not necessary if you just want to drone hard. You can defend pretty easily most things. Can be a little bit trickier if they go for a bit of an early gateway timing, but besides that, don't necessarily need the link speed that early. Stargate coming out of trap. Did this last time. Hmm. The last game. Maybe he just wants to stick to what's working. Put down some Oracle Harass. I think in the last game he got like five drones. Yeah. Around so, there. Something like that. And yeah, it, it's just a great way to open up and it's a great way to secure that third base. I, I do like the, the people that go for this kind of build. Yeah. So it's very smart. We do see it a lot from Hero as well. And there's that Oracle on the way. But interestingly enough, we do see that, that Ling sort of harassment again, which might actually find something here. Yeah, no speed. I think there's. 18 in total? Yeah, I mean, if anyone's still going to defend it, it's going to be pretty hard. This Oracle's actually going to have to commit to defending against Lings, I think, more than actually doing damage. So many of these slow Lings coming across the map. And he's going to see even more. Oracle should be able to slow it down, but like you said, it takes away a lot of that aggression. I don't know if it's worth it, though, you know? It is a lot of turns that could have been made while this happened. Let's see how many probes he can get from this. Or at least buildings cancelled or... Oh, one probe. It's 
Some more Zerglings going to the main. Nothing in there right now to deal with them, I think. Oracle coming back. Doesn't have enough Not energy enough there. Energy. Ooh, losing actually a few. Five probes go down to this random harassment. Trap even deciding he doesn't want to use that Oracle anymore on these links. Maybe just saving it for other links that are coming across. Oh, nice micro there. Yeah, I think he's just maybe making sure he can get that third base down with the Oracle. Pretty nice uh, sort of worker lead now for Doc. 51-38. Really just draining up that third. And two gases so far. No real transition just yet. But yeah, he's... he's I think that did a lot of work. I think that was a pretty, uh, pretty nice move from Doc. Yeah, it turned out to be worth it for sure. We never really see that kind of uh, thing happen. But I think I feel like that's just a lot of uh, preparation going into these games. Ooh, seven health. Very, very close. And I don't think we see a forge yet. The trap, so it's hard to tell if he's going to be going for a similar sort of kind of style. Gonna be going up to five gate actually. Okay. And a twilight. All right, so pretty much the same sort of deal, I think. Yeah, but like you said, no forge. No forge. No upgrades. Mm, that really is that upgrades. is part of that build, you know. Yeah. You, you go for plus one, plus two. You have to have upgrades in this. Otherwise, it's a big problem. You just uh, you don't have enough damage with these blank stalkers to trade with roaches efficiently. There we go. There's a forge now. Adding two actually. Mm. Nice. I like two forges. Do you really, though? Yeah. I mean, uh, but I, the, they're a bit late, but I like them. I like them. Nice harassment here. I just don't really think it plays into that style, though, you know? The attack just a lot more important. Yeah, well, it feels like it's not going to be as early, right? Like, if he's going for this kind of late upgrade sort of style, maybe he's going to go up the full base, or maybe he's just going to be a bit more of a... Maxed out, sort of delayed uh, Blink Stalker attack with mm. multiple upgrades, like 2-2, two, two, going into 3-3. Three, three, that's very sort of tanky Stalkers as well. Yeah, tanky Stalkers with Blink Bound. It's a scary thought. Yeah, and when you're fighting up against like a major, uh, majority sort of Hydra composition, you're taking a lot less damage when you got those armor upgrades because mm. they do, they shoot fast, but they do like small amounts of damage. Some roaches making their way across the map. Just five. These two oracles getting some work done. This guy already has 12, probably from earlier. Yeah, a little lings going down from that guy. Yeah, just more stalkers and sentries being warped in currently. I guess he's going to just go for plus one, plus one. Hmm. He's currently boosting out that blink at the moment. Maybe he just wants to have it as soon as possible. Shut down those overseers coming into base. Also, just... In case any roaches coming across the map, you can maybe catch some of them out. Here's that first overseer coming into the main. Stargate added. Hmm. Second Stargate. Yeah, second Stargate. More and more stalkers. Ooh, and Roach is going to poke the front, but they don't have Roach speed. Dangerous. It's a very interesting style we're seeing out of Trap. I really want to see it all, you know, come together. See what that final composition is going to be for Trap. Mm. Nine Swarm Hosts on the way and Enduring Locus. So pretty good choice from Doc to go into this kind of style. Uh, do you see that Robotics Bay being added as well? Man, this is, this is kind of interesting. We're just seeing, we're not seeing a move out at all from the Protoss player. Yeah, now Charge being added at the same time. It looks like he's just going heavy upgrades, a lot of different units in this big composition. No fourth base, though. I think, like, he definitely could take that at some point here. Maybe he just feels he's being too greedy, making a lot of tech. Hmm. I kind and, of, uh, yeah, I, I just don't Just waiting for a bit. I don't agree with that at all. Like, going for three base like this, just sitting here. Like, it's giving tra uh, it's giving Doc a lot of time, and he's just not taking a base that he could take. Yeah, I mean, Dark is not putting on any pressure at all. At the same time, he's going for Spire as well as uh, the Swarm hosts here. I feel like Trap had a good, like, minute and a half here on this kind of game time where he could have put down that fourth base but regardless he will finally put that down here we go trap is going to see the swarmos back off adding that fourth base now he knows he has to go into colossus because there's no way he's going to deal with these swarmos otherwise 
And then we go see another one on the way. He's got one already. I feel like he was making one already. <laughs> what a sad corruptor, man. <laughs> Yeah. War Prism just like flies all, all up in his base and just doesn't care at all. Probably gets away as well. Gonna trade super efficiently with these Ling Roach. The entire army is out of position, but with the Swarm Host to back him up. Oh, well, he's gotta be careful. We do have an Observer right now. He's already blinking onto that creep. He wants to at least clean up the creep. Looks like the uh, first objective here for Trap. Yeah, that's a pretty important one against Swarm Host. You really want to stop the uh, the creep spread as much as possible. So they don't have as much of a range with their Locusts, and they don't have as much of an escape. Gives the Protoss the ability to maneuver a lot more around the Locusts as well. And wow, a big push coming in from Dark. Not enough, uh, I'm kind of worried because that's not really... Uh Ooh, barely gets away with that recall. Not enough... Colossus on the map, and you can actually see one go down for free. Uh oh, free Colossus. Oh man, that fourth base shouldn't live. These two void rays, in fact, are just flying out to their deaths. Swarmos are going to be picked off, but he's trading stalkers for them at the same time, and he loses that fourth base. And I think we actually saw Colossus go down in the natural as well. Those corruptors came yeah. in and did some, did some work, and this is actually looking absolutely horrible for Trap really is. I mean, those first fields, not the best. A lot of these Ling's able to push through. Another Colossus just going to go down to all these Corruptors. Oh! He doesn't finish his job, and it does stay alive. For now, at least. More first fields coming in. He's holding on. Mm. I think it's just a matter of time, though, because these Locusts aren't going to let up at all. And he's oh, but the stock is coming from buildings. behind. And all the Roach and Ling are going down. All these Swarmos are going to go down. Unless he goes for the Corruptors. <laughs> yeah, unless... Well, gonna hold on for now. This dog has been quite the pain. If you remain, three Void Ray is gonna zone out these Corruptors, or the remaining Corruptors as well. Needs an Observer. Not the greatest trades, and now some Roaches coming in. A lot of Stalkers though, and they've got 2-2, a big, big Muta switch. 21 Muta is going to come in. He's already got plus two for his uh, air upgrades, his attack. Lining up with that as well. But still, there's a lot of Stalkers on the map. He's also got two uh, Stargates as well back at his base. But again, he, he doesn't have a fourth base. He's kind of like just hanging on right now, Trap is. Yeah, hanging on, making the wrong composition. Void Rays, two at a time. Not going to be help that helpful against this kind of Muters. Yeah, Stalker's way out of position now. Yeah, and even if they were at home, they're not going to be, be able to cover all four bases. So these Muters are going to find a lot of pro damage. Maybe even get this Mothership. Oh, Ooh, no. man. This could very well just be game. Yeah, I feel like that was just a little bit too... I don't know. A little bit too positive of Trap to be moving out on the map with all those Stalkers right now. He might think that he just has to get something done as well, right? Because he's, he did lose that fourth base, and... He did crush what he could. He, did, he got rid of all the Swarm Hosts at the very least, but still, like, Doc had the commanding momentum and lead, and he did trade very efficiently with what he had. Well, I don't know if Trap can really hold on at this point. He's lost all the mining in the main now. Some Phoenix is trying to pop it here. The Roaches are going to go down, but looking back at home for Dark, everything's just totally untouched. He could take a fifth base even if he wanted. He could just mass spine crawlers at the front of his, <laughs> like, choke as well. He's going to add some spores now, actually. And, I mean, he could just secure that for sure while he just trades with all these buildings. Mm. So much stuff in the air. Trap now down to about 40 probes. He's just getting some decent hits onto these mutas. A nice blink in now. But again, Dark just trading, and he's got a huge bank. If you look back at that, he can pretty much transition to whatever he wants. He can just keep making mutas, man. He just needs to nonstop make mutas because there is no way the trap's going to keep up with this. And it's going to be a slow and painful death until he leaves the game. He's making swarm hosts. He can just kill this army with these Ling Roach, I think. Well, not the best engagement there. Hmm. Trap's still, still holding on. I don't know if 
what's the point is there. <laughs> I feel like it's pretty over at this point. He's just trapped in his base. He's going to try to find something with his attack. It's going to take a while, though, and he's going to be trading inefficiently with Lucas. Only two Colossi with this. Yeah. Makes things a little bit harder. I feel, though, that this is pretty much his last hope. It is, for sure. You know, put on some pressure. Try to take down some Swarmos if you're lucky. Let's see what he can get done. You know, that still potential is there. It's a pretty decent DPS, uh, mind you. Yeah, it really is. And a lot of these Swarmos out of position. Yeah. Oh, that Observer goes down, though. And oh. Now he's got no detection. Well, there you go. That was the one thing he really needed. <laughs> that was the one thing he had to keep alive out of everything else. Yeah, and he loses 15 more probes. Muta's coming back for the fight. Fight with these Locusts. He nice get, blink micro. Yeah, he, he, but he should really just ignore the, the Stalkers and go for the Colossi. There's nothing to deal with these Locusts. He's down to 17 probes now. He's about half of the supply of Dark. Last Colossus goes down. He's making one Observer. Trap is just holding on for so long, but just seems futile at this point in time. He's got literally no economy. Dark is maxed out now. He's going to start building a bank. He's making Infestors. Well, I guess it'll help close things out here. Uh, we are seeing per production once again, but yeah, this is this is kind of a lost cause at this point. He's going to try his best to, I guess, deny any extra bases past the fourth phase go up. But, I mean, it's all kind of futile because there's just no economy. There's no way Trap's going to get ahead in this game or stabilize. Hmm. He's trying to trade now with some roaches, but a bit of a messed up point there. Start losing a lot of those stalkers. He's, he manages to cancel the fifth base of Dark as he's on 18 probes. And uh, like we've said many times, he's kind of just hanging on to something that's not there anymore. Flailing around in the darkness. <laughs> is that what it is? Pretty much. Now he's going to try to blink onto these swarm hosts and investors. Well, I guess he's going to find something, right? <laughs> I don't know. He's like trying to get as much damage done as possible before he GG's out of this game. Yeah, he's trying to like get the mental edge or something, like frustrate Doc or something. I like, guess there is some merit to that. He's just like not dying. And Dirk just keeps on trying to trade Roaches into Blink Stalkers and it's just like barely not working. This is like fantasy GG timing, but for Protoss or something. <laughs> you just keep like blinking around the Zerg's main as the Zerg is making 30 Roaches. It's, yeah, I don't know. You should think about the viewership as well, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, any moment. GG. GG. There we go. There you go, Trap. You found the key. And Dark, he pulls back that win. That's very important for him because if he had gone down 0-2, could have gotten tilted. It's the worst position to be in.